Hello and welcome to my rainbow kitchen. Today I want to show you how to make a delicious whole foods plant-based cauliflower hoisin bowl. We have a new collection of recipes in the cook I do called power bowls and I'm adapting one of them, the pork hoisin bowl, to be whole foods plant-based. So let's get started. Alrighty, so let's get started here. So it's a new, uh, it's a new collection called uh, Power Bowls, and I've added the recipe to my to today to my peak. So here's the hoisin pork bowl. So under the variations, you know, it says replace the pork with firm tofu, but I don't have any firm to firm tofu or tofu tofu at all. So I decided to make this with um, a cauliflower. Um, cauliflower mushroom mixture. So before I get started in this recipe, I'm actually gonna get that ready. One, I got one head of cauliflower here, and I'm gonna measure this out for you so we can see how much that is. So that was about 14 ounces of cauliflower. I'm just gonna put the lid on and the measuring cup, and then we're just gonna chop this on speed I'm gonna go for four and a half. Let's take a look. Okay, so what I'm looking for is this, which is like a cauliflower rice type of texture. And so I'm now gonna put this into a bowl and set it aside. And when it comes time to cook it, cook the pork, I will be cooking this instead. And I also have some uh, shiitake mushrooms here that I've previously chopped and uh, cooked that I'm gonna to cook together in order to create sort of that that fourth part of the recipe. All right, so let's get cooking. Let's get started here. I rinsed out the bowl real quick to get out the cauliflower. And first uh, ingredient is two ounces of roasted uh, salted peanuts. I don't have any peanuts in the house right now, so I'm gonna substitute with cashew. I'm gonna go with two ounces of cashew. These are not Roasted. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna weigh out two ounces, and now I'm gonna go roast those, and then I will be back. Okay, so I'm back. I had this pan warming up on the stove to be ready to cook the cauliflower, and so I just tossed these um, cashews in there for a few minutes, and then one ounce of ginger peeled and sliced. So I keep my ginger. I, I make, prepare my ginger in the thermomix. Um, in large batches and then freeze it so I don't have to deal with it and so I added that with a little bit more than an ounce it's quite all right with a little bit more than an ounce but I have cashews too put the lid back on with the measuring cup and now we're gonna chop this up for two seconds on speed eight okay there we go so that's what that looks like and I'm just gonna remove this into a bowl and set aside now we say it says place the bowl onto the mixing bowl lid and now three and a half ounces of poison sauce. I have this organic poison sauce from from Whole Foods. And then we need some water. Two and a half ounces of water. And then we're gonna add two teaspoons of our nut and ginger mixture. Mix this up and set it aside. And whisk this up. The next step is place the simmering basket onto the mixing bowl lid. And now we're gonna add eight ounces of rice. Uh, it says jasmine rice. I don't have jasmine rice. I have some basmati rice. And then remove the simmering basket and rinse rice under cold running water until rice runs clear. Set aside to drain. So now it says place 32 ounces of water into the mixing bowl. So I'm gonna tar this and add this. 35 ounces. Next, a tablespoon of salt. I'm gonna skip that. And now I'm gonna insert the simmering basket with the rinse rice. This is the rice with the simmering basket. Put that in here is place the aroma dish into position. So that means I need to put the lid on first. And then I can place the aroma dish. 
now I'm going to add 8 ounces of broccoli florets. Now I did not quite have 8 ounces of broccoli, so I added some zucchini as well. So I have a mixture of broccoli and zucchini, seasoned broccoli with salt. I'm going to skip that as well. Put the lid in place, and now we're going to cook this for 19 minutes in speed 2. That's cooking. It says, meanwhile, heat two tablespoons of olive oil in a nonstick frying pan. Two tablespoons of olive oil in a nonstick frying pan. So, for those of you who are like me who don't eat uh, oil, you know that that's 240 calories just right there in, in, in that oil that you could just take out of your diet. Add 18 ounces of ground pork, one to two tablespoons, teaspoons sambal olek, and some salt. Um, I don't have sambal olek. I'm gonna use a chili garlic sauce. I'm sure not, so I'm gonna cook the cauliflower and my mushrooms with the with the some with the chili garlic sauce. Um, so let's cook it for a while, and then I'm gonna add uh, three tablespoons of the hoisin sauce mixture that we made, and cook it a little bit longer until it's golden. And we'll see how long it takes to make that with the cauliflower. All right, so welcome to the messy side of my kitchen. I preheated this pan, it should be ready to go. So first thing I'm gonna do is add these mushrooms. Oops, I definitely know that it's hot when it sounds like that. I already cooked those and then chopped them up. I'm gonna turn the heat down just a little bit. And now I'm gonna add the cauliflower. Steve cooked this for a few minutes. So this is fairly low. Uh, I have it on, on, on two. I'm gonna add the spices now. So two teaspoons. So it's one, recipe says one to two teaspoons. I like, like a little spicy, although it has a little bit of salt in it, which I, I'm not adding any other salt to the dish, so it'll be nice to have a little bit of that naminess that comes from salt. Turn this down a little bit more because I saw a little bit too much browning already at the bottom. So now it says to add three tablespoons of our preferred hoisin sauce. And if you don't want to use the chili garlic paste or the sambal olive because you're, um, you don't want the, the processedness of it, I think some, just some chili flakes would probably do well here. So I'm gonna cook this for a couple more, a few more minutes, maybe three to five more minutes, and then I will just turn it off. And... Alrighty, so it's been a few more minutes. This looks like the cauliflower is all cooked. I got a little bit of um, caramelization browning going on here at the bottom. So I'm going to turn this off and let it sit. And then that should soften the uh, things that are stuck on the bottom and they'll come off when it's time to eat. So, you know, this is turns into a bowl, keep warm. We did that. Um, we're done with the aroma. So we'll remove the aroma and set aside. Looks like everything here is steamed perfectly. We're going to remove the rice. So, you know, we have a nifty spatula that fits right in here. I'm gonna grab a now we're gonna, um, now I'm gonna go assemble the bowl. Uh, you know, talks you through it here, divide the rice, broccoli, and fried pork between four bowls, and then top each with uh, some Napa cabbage, um, carrots and cucumbers um, then you can put some avocado slices and bamboo shoots on top and then drizzle the poison sauce and last but not least some uh, fresh coriander and fresh or fresh uh, mint or both you know it's up to you and then you can put the rest of the ginger nut mixture on top so I'm gonna put this together and then I will let you see what it looks like. So here I am, I made the bowl. I hope you can see this. That's the tricky part. Um, so I put a bit of lettuce um, underneath it. This is gonna be my lunch salad. And then I have a little bit of the, the rice here. And then uh, cucumbers, carrots, the steamed broccoli, my hoisin cauliflower half of a small avocado. Um, I didn't have Napa cabbage, so I just used regular white cabbage. 
And then I thought a little bit of red onion would probably be tasty as well. Um, I have a few sprinkles of mint, and then the, uh, I drizzled some of the hoisin uh, sauce mixture over, and then the ginger cashew um, mixture. And I'm gonna go sit down and have this as my lunch. Um, uh, thanks for joining me today in my Thermomix kitchen, in my rainbow kitchen. Mm, it's the color of the rainbow in my salad. And so thanks for joining me today. I hope you uh, saw how easy it is to make something delicious like this in, in the Thermomix. Um, if you have any questions about it, uh, you know, leave me a comment or send me a message. And if you would like to see how, uh, uh, if you would like to have a personalized demo of how the Thermomix can fit into your kitchen, then just contact me. It's a, an easy four-step process. And the first step is just to get to know each other and see if you get along. Because I'm looking to build long-term relationships with my customers. So I'm going to help you make sure that you get the most out of this awesome tool. And so, you know, I want to make sure that we get along. And so that's just the first step in the, in the in this four step process so send me a message um, and let me know that you're interested and we'll get started with that thanks uh, again for joining and please remember to subscribe and like and share this video i'm work, still working on getting to a thousand subscribers i'm almost halfway there and i really appreciate you hitting that subscribe button